Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah. Hey, good morning. Okay, we'll get started in a moment or two. All right, very good. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Press like, please. Can you hear me? Can you see me? All right, we'll get started in about 20, 30 seconds. Okay. Hello, Arkadi, good to see you. Eliran, Moti, good to see you. Hi, Sharon. Shabbat shalom to you all. If you can press like, I know you can hear me, you can see me. I know everything is fine. That'll be terrific. That will help. Okay, let's get started. Hang on. Let me start a recording here on another device. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me for our weekly session about real estate investing. And I'm Danny from speaking from Southern California. Good to see you. Familiar names. I think everybody uh, that is joining I already either spoke to or uh, communicated with. So thank you for joining. Um, we hold this session on a weekly basis, Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And the clear purpose of this uh, session is to enrich you, to collaborate, to educate you to uh, get in, engaged with you so we can actually, um, um, you know, help you do better investment and maybe even decide on investing together. Uh, by the way, a side note, if you are not on our mailing list, uh, simply do it mailing list. I suggest you join the list because we just emailed yesterday a really uh, cool or interesting opportunity in Kansas City. Um, new homes from the builder. We have a bulk uh, a bulk deal or bulk uh, uh, a package from the builder and uh, if you're not on that list you're not going to benefit from those uh, discounts or packages or things that we always try to come up and do more than just find you know rental properties so if you want to be on that list let us know you can uh, email me DM me whatever you want to do I'm just putting uh, our main Uh, uh, email to get uh, over here. Oops, hold on. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna say this as a, as a, you know, as a, as a, before we dive into the today's topic. Today's topic is about credit score, credit repair, credit, you know, everything related to your credit. And if you are not in that category, so that means if you are a foreigner who's not, who doesn't have a social security number or someone who's not actually trying to benefit from the US mortgages, this session may be less relevant for you. So it's mostly relevant for people who have credit, have social security number, building their credit, and so on. So you may be a little bit more bored or feel that it's not uh, it's irrelevant uh, for you if you're not in that category. But what I wanna talk about, instead of talking core real estate uh, uh, aspect or items today, I actually wanna share with you um, so it's story, personal story about this credit aspect. Uh, so let me start by saying I'm not going to dive into the mechanics and what affects the credit score, etc., uh, because uh, some of it is a somewhat of a known to be a secret. Some of it is known information, and I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on the matter at all. But I will say this: if you are a real estate investor, 
uh, you, and you're buying real estate with mortgages, your credit is very, very important. Now, a lot of people, especially ones that are not uh, experienced, think that the score is what matters. And the answer is it does, but it's not the entire reason or the, the only thing, right? And by the way, not a lot of people know that, but when mortgage lenders run your credit report, they get a different answer or different result algorithm wise than if this is a car um, salesperson who runs your credit or a car, car uh, lender that runs your credit score or just an online you know, credit uh, uh, that you're checking your credit. All those three, or, or a credit company, a credit card company, they all have different algorithms that will, res will re result in different scores that they will receive. So that's very important as well to know that just because you think you have, I don't know, 650 or 670 doesn't mean is that what will show to the lender, mortgage lender. Also, what you have on your report also very very important. So let me start you. Let me start with a, with a small story, a uh, personal story. 2013, I apply for a mortgage, yet another one. Now, bear in mind, I have a lot of activities on my report for many, many years, from car loans, from mortgages, lines of credit, different things moved, you know, I moved a few, a few times um, and so on. And I go to my lender, the one that I like to use most, and she says, Danny, listen, I gotta tell you something. It's gonna be very, very challenging for us to qualify you based on your report. It's not perfect, but it's not bad, but there's a lot of problems there. And if you take the initiative, and do something about it proactively, we will be able to process your uh, your report, uh, your you know your credit report in a much better way. I said, okay, great. I know a lot of people that sell a service for two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, one time fee, whatever. But you know what? I always hear that they're just not really doing anything. What do you suggest, Mr. Mrs. Lender? And she says, listen, I know the best guy uh, that I've always sent people to him. Um, and he's the best one that I really see results. Uh, but remember, results take time. I said, okay, give me the contact. I will contact this guy. Now I'm going to take a, a you know a little a little sidetrack here, and I will say this. A year ago, I went to a, a seminar, and in that seminar, there was another person that I met for the first time who helps people build business credit score and business line of credits, right? It's a whole different conversation that I'm not gonna go into. But when I sat there and listened to this guy, he said something that really kind of penetrate, you know, uh, uh, in my, my, my thinking. He said, listen, when you run your, your own credit report with the lender, there is two mechanisms that they usually run it through, the automatic one and the manual one. Now, if you go through it, first go through the automatic one and if it goes through, smoothly it doesn't need to go to the manual one and the man if it doesn't go through it will go to the manual and that's where you're going to encounter problems because that's where they need a person to actually start reviewing this your goal as someone who has a, 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 a bower is to make sure your credit report is perfect to go through or as good as possible so it will go through the automatic machine and will not require the you know the the um, um, the manual one. And if that goes through, that will help you get credit in a much much better way. But in order to do that, you got to make sure the report is you know runs that you know runs smoothly. So I go back to the story of 2013. I contact this person. He says, Danny, no cost, no nothing. Before we run your credit and check. And once we run your Reddit and check, I will jump on a call with you and I will explain to you what's going on. So, okay, fine. Here is whatever, 35, 40 bucks, run my credit, done. Takes few days, runs the credit. They send me an email. They say, hey, next day, tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, prepare two hours for a, for a call with Stacy. That's the guy's name. And, but please print this attachment. Be ready with it, you know, printed. We will go over it. Fine. 13, 14, 15 pages, you know, quite a package. And I see a lot of markings, a lot of markings, right? I have, by the way, I pulled it on purpose. I have it here in front of me. It's like 13 pages and I see a lot of markings. And this guy goes on the, on the report and he circles every single issue 
no matter how big or small, you put a circle and a number, right? A circle and a number, and you go through my report. And if you know the extensive report, there's lots of lines, right? So he goes number one, number two, number three, number four. I mean, there's not a single line that has no marking there. Not a single line. I'm talking about uh, uh, probably uh, more than 10 pages of, of lines. And I was like, what is this? What's going on? And by the way, I'm, I'm shifting my, 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 uh, uh, my stare because I'm looking at the report right here. And we jump on the call. He said, Danny, we're not going to go point by point, but I want to emphasize the important one. He says, see, number one, here's the problem. Right? For example, number one, there's, there's a problem with your address. You've got multiple addresses, and they're inconsistent. Even the same address is inconsistent. That's not a big issue, but it is, right? Remember, he didn't say anything about the automat automation credit check, but the other guy that I heard a year ago said, but now I understand it even, even better, okay? And they said, you see, uh, there's, there's a problem with your name, right? Your name appears in multiple versions. Dan, Danny, Danny with an I, Danny with an Y, your last name with a hyphen, without, just this. It says all of those things are fixable, and they will help, right? Not all of them will have a big impact, but some of them will just have an impact on your on your uh, report altogether. Remember, the goal is two. One, the goal is to improve the credit score, right? I want to boost it up, and then and the second one is to clean the report so it will go through the, through the uh, uh, lenders more easily, right? So there's two main main goals here. And we go one by one by one by one, and he and he just expands. And boy, my mind is exploding. And we are two, you know, like an hour and a half into the conversation. And then he says, "Listen, here's the thing. It's going to cost you. This is not going to be cheap, and it's not going to be free, and it's going to take time. But we will send you. I, I don't think it's a month. Like every, I don't remember if it's every month or every three months. A report on the progress, and we will recheck your credit." And it will take at least three months for us to see a significance, for you to see a significant uh, um, result, and six months even more. And if you stay with us even on a consistent basis, we will keep doing it on an ongoing basis. I said, fine, let's just start, see what happens, right? Before I sign up for the whole package, I want to see the result. And we go, and then, you know, true to his word, he priced it by item. He has a, like a pricing per item. Um, and then every month I get a report. Here's here's all the items that we here's the items that we mark like I don't know 50, 60 lines, right? And then everything that they took care of, he crosses over and says, okay, done, done, done. I mean, we, we took care of it. Whatever they didn't just yet, uh, uh, they did not. All right, they're working on. And you can see already the improvement. You see the improvement of the of the score going up. And at the end of the six months, they say, here is the finish line, right? Here's what happened. This is where we started. This is where, where you are. Here's how many things we cleaned. Here's how much we improve your score. And they increase my score by a lot of points. The average one, and of course, it's, it's compiled out of three. I'm not going to, I don't want to share all the information, but I will tell you this. It was a significant improvement, not a nice improvement, a significant improvement. So I think it was a, a really good job. It took some time. Um, and it worked. It worked well because when I, next time I ran it through the lender, it went through much easier. I wouldn't say my credit score will always, it will never be easy, but easier. A lot of people don't understand that uh, um, that when you work on your credit report, right? Our credit score, credit report, is is a very important component in the investor's life for getting mortgages, right? And if we don't take care of it, clean it. Make sure it's correct. It will impact not, you know, our borrowing ability, our, you know, our terms, uh, uh, the simplicity, and so on, right? So it's in our best interest to do that every once in a while. Now, some people think like, oh, what's going to, you know, what's the big deal, right? How many things are going to happen? So, for example, I already told you that when you have multiple addresses, inconsistent, multiple, you know, addresses that you lived here, if lived in, but different dates, all of those things affect. Let's say you had a car loan from 2010, and you already sold it and paid it, right? And it's closed. It could be that it's still showing as an open credit line, right, on your report. Incorrect, right? You need to fix that. Uh, maybe there is, a, you know, there's a lot of, we think that those companies, they're just doing a great job reporting and cleaning. They don't. Not that they, you know, not that they, I don't know if it's done on purpose or not, but the, the simple truth is, 
they do not do a good job, right? And they actually um, uh, miss a lot of things. So there's a lot of things you can do, you know, to your report in order to improve it. Now, if you have no no loans and no credit and no mortgages, and uh, you probably have a you know probably have a pretty clean report. But even that, you know, can be fixed up in a way that let's say addresses are incorrect or dates are incorrect or names, right? So there's always going to be something. But most of us with activity, you'll be surprised how much mess and noise and problems we have on our report, and it affects us without us even knowing. Because they, rarely do I hear from a mortgage lender saying, hey, you need to fix up your report. I mean, she, I have a very good relationship with this lady mortgage lender, and she took her, you know, the initiative and, and told me that. And I, you know, maybe because I said, listen, what can I do? How can I say this is one thing you can do? Most lenders won't even tell us, right? They won't say, listen, take your report, and fix it up and come back again, right? They just won't say so. So if you are at any stage as an investor and you're looking to improve your report, you know, your, your lending ability, your, your uh, um, terms and the ability to get mortgages and, you know, you want to invest in that, it's gonna be not cheap necessarily. Well, it depends how many issues you have, but it doesn't have to be that expensive and it would probably pay off, assuming that's what you wanna do. So I suggest you look into it and remember, if you're not doing it now, you know, it takes time, right? You, it's going to take three to six months easily to start seeing results. So if you're not doing it now and you're only going to do it in a, you know, just before or, or just start doing it as soon as you're applying for the next mortgage, then it's not going to affect you. It's not going to help you. So you probably want to do it in between purchasing and in between, you know, uh, houses and not while you're trying to apply for a mortgage. It's actually it could, probably could be a counterproductive. Um, for me, it worked very well. I mean, I am so impressed by the results. I am so impressed by the reporting, the progress. <clears throat> um, I know I even spent some time myself online that I saw that I can do it by myself, right? But it's very daunting, right? What to write, who to write, what to say. You know, working with those companies, they know the, the credit bureau is very difficult and annoying and time consuming and we can all do that we we don't have to hire an outsider to do that but the outsider just knows how to do it more efficiently how to do it more properly probably can do it quicker and so on so uh, without the learning curve that we will need so if you guys are in that position and you're looking to do it find someone i mean i if you email me i'll be happy to share with you the contact to the person i work with um, the one thing I like about him, no, I didn't pay anything until we actually, except for running my credit report, uh, which he didn't collect for himself. He just paid it to, to run my credit report. He, he didn't charge me anything until, you know, we sat together or met on the phone, uh, to go over my report and he, he went through it and he spent two hours with me free of charge. And then he said, here's the cost and here's what we can do. And then you decide if you want to do it or not entirely up to you. So it's like no, there, there's no financial commitment on that on my end before actually speaking with him. So I love that fact. Um, I've been I've seen a lot of um, uh, uh, companies that offer that service for nickel and dime, but honestly, um, I just don't remember seeing results or speaking to uh, friends who use them, and it seems like very. Uh, unprofessional ones, right? So I don't know. There may be good. I just don't I don't have an idea about the other ones. So my suggestion for you is, first of all, take care of it, right? It's a type of a long-term investment because it takes time to fix it. Either do it yourself, hire, find a professional. If you if you want to use the professional I use because I have good uh, uh, recommendation and experience with him, I'll be happy to share that resource with you. No problem. Just email me and I'll make the intro. Um, with that said, that's what I wanted to say about the credit score. Um, again, to emphasize the importance of it for the terms, for the simplicity, for the easiness of getting a mortgage. And this is not necessarily a one-time thing. You may need to do it on an ongoing basis every few years. Most of us who's been through life and are using our credit to borrow money will have, let's say, bad points or things that are affecting our score. It's not just a credit line. It's just not just how we pay. It's not a lot of things that are affecting it, right? So remember that. It's not just 
how many mortgages I have. Yes, that's part of it, but it's not the only thing. Um, with that said, I am done with what I had to say about the credit score or the credit repair, or re I don't think repair is necessarily the right term, maybe improvement, credit improvement, or uh, fixing up your credit. I think it's really important. If you have any questions regarding to this topic, I'll try to answer. I'm not an expert in this field. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. If you have questions that are not related to this topic, but are related to real estate investing, um, I can, I'll be happy to take them um, as well. And on a personal, personal note, I just want to say happy birthday to my boy who turned seven yesterday. So happy birthday, Shelly. I love you. I'm crazy about you. So just a personal note, he turned seven yesterday. I can't believe it's already seven. Oh, my God. Um, yep, let's see if there are questions coming uh, before we wrap it up. So I think um, I will start charging the regular ones, the ones who join almost every, on a weekly basis, a fee that you have to participate with questions. Otherwise, you won't be able to, you won't be allowed to participate. I'm just joking, of course, but I would love to see your feedback, your questions, uh, some engagement, likes, likes. Uh, so I can know that you're engaging. I, I received one or two likes, but that's not enough. Um, so by all means, let's see if there are any questions. Okay. With that said, thank you for joining again on another week. We do it, as I mentioned, every week, 11 a.m. Pacific time, California time. Um, different topics. Usually I bring something that I encounter throughout the week um, or questions. Uh, sometimes I bring topics that uh, people ask me like yourself through the session or off session. If you want to speak with me in an intimate environment, let me know. Uh, you can DM me, you can email me, you can call, you know, I'm all over the web. No problem. We can take this big idea of investing into the more uh, your world of investing, your challenges. Every investor has challenges. Beginner has different challenges. The one that was a little bit more experienced and more advanced, it can be mortgages, where to, bo where to buy next. Sometimes I get people who call me and say, Danny, I have a problem with this property. I am just stuck. I'm not sure what to do. I don't need the full services you offer, but just a consultation. We can do that too. We do that too as well. We help people get unstuck with investment, unstuck with mindset um, in the real estate you know, investment world. So thank you very much for your time. As always, I hope to hear from you in person or in a more intimate environment or see you here next week with another topic. Have a terrific rest of your day. Have a terrific weekend. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Bye-bye.